Personal story segment tonight. The Democratic Party is rightly concerned about President Obama's falling poll numbers. As we said in the Talking Points memo, the Republican theme will most likely be that America is in steep decline. Joining us now from Washington, Congressman Keith Ellison from Minnesota. So, Congressman, do you believe, first of all, that America is on the skids? No way. America's best days are ahead of her. And all you need to do is uh, look at the immigration. And people want to come to America. This is the place of, this is a land of opportunity. Everybody knows that. Abroad, the folks who live here ought to be a little bit more appreciative of the great country we have. All right. But let me, let me play devil's advocate here. You said two things, that America's best days are ahead of it. Um, and some of you cynic might say that's because things are so bad now they can't get any worse. And, you know, and point to the uh, unemployment rate, the debt the uh, impasse in Congress to solve any problems and on. And second, people want to come from Zambia to, Amer uh, to America, from Mexico to America. Yeah, we understand that from Honduras here. But that doesn't mean that things are good here. And the Republican Party is going to basically say we are a country in decline. I think it's going to be hard for President Obama to counter that. Well, I mean, if all you needed to do was look at Benghazi, people were waving the American flag. You know, today in uh, Congress, I met with a group from uh, Egypt. They're telling me, you know, how do you guys do it? How do you make this great democracy work? I tell them it's messy. You know, we fight here a lot, you know, but the fact is this is the greatest country in the world because we can debate. I can say whatever I want. I can criticize anybody I want to, and that, nobody's going to come get me and put me in jail because I said something bad about somebody in power. Okay. So this is the greatest country. Well, the theoretically, you're correct, but you're talking philosophically now, and I'm trying to get into the nuts and bolts of things. Look. Let's go there. Um, you've got an economy that's failing. You've got a government and an administration that spent a 5.3 trillion at least to try to stimulate the economy hasn't worked. Now they want more. They would now want another half trillion dollar stimulus to do it. It's not going to happen. House not going to pass that, as you know. Okay, but Americans are going. Hey, we don't have leadership right now to solve the problems. The Republican Party itself is divided. You know that. I mean, they're divided. Yeah, they don't they are, know. They are divided. They don't know where to go. Okay, so. From a, from a philosophical standpoint, yeah, we're the greatest country, but from nuts and bolts, particularly on the economy, we're in trouble. We're in trouble. But, but Bill, we, we've had times before that were tough. You know, the 1930s were tough. Well, you, you know, want to go through the times. 1930s again? You want to do no, that I again? Don't. No, but, but I'm telling you why I'm optimistic. And I'm telling you that, look, I don't even like calling this thing a stipulus. I think the American Society of Civil Engineers says... We have crumbling infrastructure. If we invested in our infrastructure, we'd put a lot of people to work. We'd have safer infrastructure. I'm that, from that's a state. fine. And if we were running a surplus, we could do it. And I'd support you 100 percent. But you can't do it with a 14 and a half trillion dollar debt. You can't do it. But There's Bill, not enough money to do it. Where are we going to get the money? Bill, Borrow from the Chinese? Bill, the interest rates are lower than they've been in many, many long years. We still years, have to borrow. And, we still Bill, have to borrow. Look at it. Think about, Bill, think about this. It was during the Civil War, the Civil War, when Lincoln uh, came and pulled together the Intercontinental Railroad. Now, he had a real crisis on his hands, but he didn't look at it that way. He bet on America. He believed we could do anything. After World War II, we had a national debt higher as a percentage of GDP that we have now. And Eisenhower said, you know what? We're going to build an interstate highway system. I'm telling you, at times of crisis, great leaders pull through project a vision and we get behind them and it's not easy but you know what we do it because we're americans and we don't take nothing uh in terms of backing down we, we right. stand well, up i, I like i together. like the spirit of your remarks and i don't have any any difficulty with the spirit of your remarks but as charles Krauthammer just said most americans disagree with you the polls say most americans have lost confidence in the Obama administration. Say it across the board, particularly in the economic realm, when the president's approval ratings in economics hover now around 30 percent. So with all of this pessimism, with the banks not lending, with small business not expanding, with the specter of Obamacare in the horizon, which is going to cost business more to pay for its health insurance on its employees, with all of that, Americans say, you know what? We might have to tough out 10, 12 years of difficult times like we did after 1929. And it's not acceptable to the American people. Well, let me tell you, you know, I think that great tough times make great leaders. And I believe that Barack Obama has the stuff to lead our country into a greater place. Let me tell you, the first year, the first month of his administration, the economy is losing 700,000 jobs. Now we're not really losing jobs, we're just not really gaining jobs, and we're just bumping along. Yeah, but, but we're not you're, doing... you're not taking into account all the government money that was spent, okay? 
to try to stimulate employment and the economy, and it hasn't worked. We lost well, 738 you know points in the stock market this week. That's not confidence in the American economy, Congressman. I'm telling you, the stock market goes up and the stock market goes down. We, if, I'm, but I'll tell you something else. If you want to make money over time, you put your money in the American stock market. Over time, if you're a long-term investor, you will see uh, a positive uh, return because America is a country where, you know, we believe in free enterprise. We also believe in a compassionate public sector. And over time, we always prevail. So I believe those days are in front of us. Right, and I believe Barack Obama is going to lead us there. We appreciate you uh, coming on. Thank you very much.